Well, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. We are back here for yet another banger video and today as you guys could tell we're going to be going over all of my swim baits, my swim bait arsenal. This isn't going to be the, the rod, the reel, the line, that kind of stuff that I use to throw these bigger swim baits. That's like I might have a video already over that. I'm not completely sure. But if you want me to do that video and if I haven't made it already, comment down below and I can show you what kind of rod I use to throw all these big baits. Um, but it's, it's, let me tell you, it's not a very uh, complicated setup, I guess you could say. So, uh, so I've got all my soft plastic swim baits right here and then we've got the juice right here. All these awesome swim baits so first of all I'm gonna go into these uh, these soft plastic swim baits and um, all of these right here these are all very similar to the Kitex uh, you guys know the Kitex they're uh, like a they're pretty expensive honestly uh, they're like small like paddle tail swim baits I guess you could say and these these are the Eco Pro tungsten swing shad right here these guys um, they're very similar to the kitex they have the same um, action they're a little bit more durable i gotta say uh, which i like because you can catch more fish on them and uh, they're actually the same size and they're more than half the price uh, these this pack right here is three dollars and i went to academy the other day and saw uh i saw colors like very similar to the ones that I have in this little crate and they were like six or seven bucks so you're saving a little, quite a bit of money and getting getting around the same outcome you know so I love these things I've been using these a lot lately uh, I've been using this guy right here a lot lately it's kind of like a shad color actually it is uh, Alson Al Alson sexy shad just, just a shad pattern. But you can pick these up at like Bass Pro, Cabela's, that kind of thing. Um, so now getting on to the main stuff that we're talking today. Just kind of gonna, gonna run over this. We've got some new baits. We've got some baits that I haven't used before. Baits that I haven't caught fish on yet. But I'm gonna be catching fish on them a lot this year. I want to put this box to use a lot um, this year and uh, hopefully maybe I could catch an even bigger fish on one of these swim baits. So let's take a gander at it. We'll go with this first compartment right here. These are uh, some of the H2O Express swim baits right here. Nothing, nothing special. We've got this guy right here, which I caught like four and a half on. That one's a pretty good color, honestly. And they've got this one. This is a, this is one I did a, a lure challenge with, but uh, one thing you got to remember to do with those is actually for me the hooks were very weak like you could almost bend them out with your hand for me um, and so I changed the hooks out as you guys could tell I put some pretty meaty hooks into these guys right here the back one has a feather just makes it a little look a little bit better and uh, yeah like I said nothing special in that one um, we're gonna go down this way because we got some special stuff over there. These are some of the Weston Hypo Tees. This was the first bigger swim bait that I ever caught a big swim bait fish on. So I've actually got two of these. One that a subscriber sent in and one that I got in a mystery tackle box. So those things absolutely catch them right there. Mmm, juicy. Next, these are some boom booms. These are pretty popular in the swim bait industry. Um, I only have a couple, one pack, obviously there's two right here, and they're, they just like I, look like a big bluegill right there, just juicy, um, right there, they're pretty expensive, they look, they're like 10 bucks for two. Uh, these are the hooks that I use for them, right here, these are uh, owner beast hooks right here, let's see if I can put these in my hand, there we go, um, owner beast hooks, they are... I've got them down there. They're eight aughts and three eighths of an ounce. So they're pretty meaty hooks right there. They're pretty expensive too. Uh, next, we've got just one of these little uh, live target shad looking baits right here. 
Um, I believe I actually, come on, focus. I believe I actually traded a friend one of these guys. So um, then actually this guy right here, this is a treble hook with a snap on it that you can put on a, like a Huddleston or some other bait, you know. So next we'll go into this side. This is the little bit more better side, I guess you could say. We've got this guy right here. Oh my gosh. Okay, treble hook problems, you know. Okay, so we're actually going to get into this big bait right here. This is the Oh, wow. Okay. This is the River to Sea S waiver right here. Um, I just picked this up. Let's see if it can focus. I actually set it back down in there. But this is, I just got this at Bass Pro. Haven't used it yet. Plan on catching some giants with it this year. But that is a beastly bait right there. Very popular bait. Uh, next, oh, this is in the. This is in the medium size. So I got that size and uh, uh, that color one because the color is like, okay, here, let me just show it to you guys one last time. I got this color one because it was, it's kind of, it's, it's kind of like a shad color, but then at certain angles, it's almost also kind of like a, uh, a bluegill color. So um, it kind of, does both I guess you could say and uh, it kind of looks like both we'll give you another quick look at that right there awesome looking bait and the next one is this guy right here caught a couple fish on there um, but just a little uh, jointed swim bait so the next couple swim baits we've got are these guys right here these are the this is the I don't know. This is the uh, Beast Coast Tackle, I believe. Beast Coast Fishing or something like that. Uh, one of their swim baits. I got this from a friend and I've caught a couple of fish on it. It's not too bad. Um, so that's, that's a pretty good one. This one, who's it? Meant? Savage Gear. This is a, just a Savage Gear trout. It's pretty, just a pretty, let me get it in my hand. Pretty simple. Uh, Huddleston, um, I guess you could say. So it looks pretty decent. Haven't caught any fish on it, but if you use this treble hook right here, there's a a little spot right there for a hook. You can put that on there, and then you can hook it back here, and you've got yourself a nice little uh, hook thing, bottom hook. So next thing, this is the next biggest bait is the Mega Bass Mag Draft. Picked this up last year at, um, what was it, the Forestwood Cup for around 15 bucks, I believe. I can't remember. But I've heard lots of good things about these baits. I've seen people catching giants on them, and so I'm going to try to catch a giant on it this year. So got this color. It looks very good. Um, you can tell there might be, there's a couple bite marks right in there, so... I have definitely missed a couple, had a couple bites, but you know, that's going to be one we're going to want to catch. We're going to be testing out a lot this year, possibly a review video over this if I can start catching some fish. Next we've got hooks. These hooks right here, both of these sizes of hooks right here I use for these guys. These are all, or obviously they're 4.8 inches, and these swim bait hooks right here, these are 4 aught quarter ounce, one fourth of an ounce swim bait hooks. These are made by Berkeley right here, and then these ones right here are made by Gamagatsu. These, the Gamagatsu ones were like eight bucks. These Berkeley ones right here were like five. So I got another pack of them. So um, other than that, those are those hooks. Nothing super special in the hooks, obviously, except for these ones that you could use for like shark or whatever. But that is pretty much my swim bait box so far. I definitely want to expand on it, um, possibly get some mega bass eye slides, I believe. This is the River to Sea S waiver. Oh yeah, yeah, this is an S waiver. I believe early in the video, whenever I went over this bait, I said eye slide. This is the S waiver. My bad. Um, but that is, uh, this is one bait that I want to do a whole lot of fishing with, especially whenever I go down to Florida. We'll be tossing around this guy 
a lot. Um, and then, so I want to get, I want to definitely catch some good fish on that. And then possibly a, uh, another kind of a bigger sunfish imitation. There's one I'm thinking of, but I can't, I can't exactly like come up with a name right now. I don't really know why, but that is pretty much my swim bait arsenal box. Like I said, I definitely want to expand on it. Definitely want to get some more uh, like soft plastic, like Huddleston style baits, like these guys. Um, I definitely want to get to try out some more of the Megavass baits, especially some of the Boom Booms. Um, those have heard it work ex exceptionally well. Um, and then maybe like a couple more jointed swim baits. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And uh, on that, I'll catch you guys on the next episode of LMB Nation. Peace, guys.